Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be talking about how short are trading synthetics apes, how they need trillions of liquidity to save them, and how firms want real shares, not synthetics, and many more in this video. So firstly, we're starting off with this. Now, again, another day of short interest going up. We're looking at 19.52% and the short interest at 51.26 million shares. So yesterday, we talked about why they are raising the short interest in both shares and, of course, the percentage. And again, understanding that firstly, this is the very minimum because this doesn't include all the offshore data or the FTDs. And again, these are always self-reported. So at the very minimum that this is what we're seeing and the fact we're seeing the minimum increasing it means that the actual number is higher and is still increasing as well so what we can be looking at is millions and millions and potentially even billions of shares are being created every single day right now as we see the short data going up but more importantly what we have to understand is with the short data going up it does seemingly look like they are panicking so yesterday's video we talked about how they're trying to fake a squeeze well furthermore let's take a look at this how in the f is still this still trading today when delisted the answer synthetics clear and simple when the stock delist the price stops moving on the day it delist official seeds of any trading manipulate to the market and apes were always right so what someone has discovered is that actually on Weeble we're still seeing apes being traded as you guys can see with the price movement with the fluctuation now I am curious if you guys are also experienced this if you have Weeble check it out and comment down below if you guys are seeing this but again multiple multiple people have said that they have seen trading some haven't some has and again what we've seen is that previously in the glitch of an exchange what we can see is the real data actually being exposed we've seen that with market cap we've seen that with shares outstanding and now we've seen that with the trading of ape furthermore to obviously back this statement what we've actually seen in the past is when ape was supposedly delisted it was still trading in the european market now what we're seeing right now is actually on the nyse so where it was delisted in the us and we've also seen how the cost to borrow for apes has been changing in the past so now with all of this what we can understand is that yes they are still trading apes and again these are synthetic apes and again these are obviously trying to convert into amc even though they should have already been done so in the past and what we can see is potentially some of the apes that were previously supposed to be converted may not have been converted that's why they are still trading now and again the reason for why they weren't converted is to obviously not let us know what amount of shares that truly were and again not to screw the shorts up and that's why they're trying to hide it but now what we can see is that they obviously can't hide it anymore curious to what you guys think about this but again i think that this is a shine a sign of desperation from the apes and again understanding you know what to look out for furthermore if you take a look at this right now so this is from mcsqueezy the cow now he's made a brilliant dd cracking down why Goldman Sachs purchased 10.53 trillion um, in terms of treasuries from the New York um, the reverse repo facility. Now, I don't want to take his credit, so you guys can feel free to obviously take a look. But essentially, what this is is understanding that the whole of this process was the fact they needed 10.53 trillion in liquidity in a single quarter from the reverse repo facility, which is likely rehypothecated in the re repo market given the appearance of profits stability and liquidity what we have to understand is that with the credit exposure it becomes clear that goldman sachs is far from the picture of health and being well capitalized that it purports and which mainstream media keeps peddling so what we have to understand is right now goldman sachs now again this applies for all the other banks as well but i want to talk mainly about goldman sachs firstly understanding that again they are not in a healthy position and this is very important because firstly goldman sachs is someone who actively and i'm talking about every single day for the last four to five months at least at the very minimum they have been continuously spoofing amc on a daily now this is obviously to make sure that they're suppressing the amc price and doesn't allow it to run and again they are spending millions of dollars every single day every single month and potentially billions of dollars to maintain this activeness of spoofing amc and we can see that obviously they are not in a good position given the fact that they need money from the reverse repo 10.53 trillion to be exact 
Furthermore, with our understanding is that obviously Goldman Sachs is working with the short sellers. And if they are in a position where they need to borrow money, which means that they are exposed to at any moment, the lack of money to spoof AMC, it could again, mess them up and obviously mess the shorts up as well, which is obviously very good for us. Furthermore, you can see just like it's other derivative leading banks such as JPM, um, Bank of America, Wells Fargo, the banks are essentially naked and fighting to stay alive. And the reason why this is important is because some of the banks, banks mentioned here are actually prime lenders towards the short sellers of AMC. So if we're taking a look at the fact that the prime lenders for short sellers are in a position where they're struggling for capital, which means that are likely to again recall the loans, not give out any more loans, then what we are seeing right now is again, the short sellers to be in a position where they don't have access to easy capital like they have had in the past to suppress AMC. And again, when they can't suppress AMC anymore, what it allows us to do is obviously show the true value of what AMC should be. We've seen many times in the past what AMC's true value at a very minimum should be for AMC. And so when we do see the price run up, when we do see the true reflective value, firstly, it's gonna encourage more investors to buy into AMC, but furthermore, it's gonna create a snowball effect where shorts will have to cover at these prices and they're gonna see their PML go massively into the reds which again will either cause them to recall the shares from the lenders or make them force cover because they are in a bad position and again if banks sees that their loans that their asset exposures are in a very bad position then they will obviously make the executive decision to make these short sellers cover the shares furthermore what we can see is what's the point of buying so few shares almost like real shares are worth a premium over synthetics got to be a reason for funds to making these trades what we can see is obviously funds buying amc shares at a very very low amount now when they're buying to these shares you know one of the arguments we can make is obviously the fact we understand that the float of AMC has already been bought up. And we know that, yes, there will be some occasional trades here and there. And that is where the real shares are. There will be firms uh, or rather firms buying in and again, retail investors selling parts of their shares. Now, again, the majority of the flow will be held by the retail investors, but there could still be the volume of 4,000, 5,000, 10,000 shares per day that are real shares. And these are what these institutions want to buy. When they buy into AMC, they want the real shares. Remember, when shorts cover, they have to cover the synthetics, but more importantly, they have to cover the real shares. And so the real shares at that point will obviously be worth more because understand that real shares in their case can be used multiple times over. And so obviously real shares are worth a premium over the synthetics. And that's why when we're seeing this, what we're seeing is firms buy into the real shares. So this gives us two understandings. Firstly, the understanding that real shares are a thing. Then it also lets us understand is that people see more worth, again, in this case, the institution see more worth in firstly real shares because of the long-term potential, but also in the case of the squeeze, it will obviously be worth a lot, lot more. And that's why they are buying in for the real shares and potentially explains why they're buying such a low amount because it's very hard to get your hands on 100,000 shares of real AMC shares, but it's obviously more likely to get your hands on a thousand shares of real shares because there is the potential that people are trading not a lot but just a few and again a thousand could be that few now this is what's happening right now with the media so we've talked about how short and a bad position again understanding they're trading the synthetic apes they are in creating the short interest they are struggling for money and again firms are buying to real shares and what we're seeing right now is the fud to get you to sell paid stories keep saying amc and meme stocks are over same story in 2021, 2022, 2023, and now 2024. They literally use the same narrative at lower manipulated stock prices every time, hoping this time their lie works. Retail are holding and not going anywhere. They are ducked. So you can see from the articles all the way from 2021 to 2024, AMZ meme stock era is long gone as box office sags. Now, take a look at this title and i want to talk about it in a sec it is very very important remember this title but you can see meme stocks is the party finally over meme stock officially over meme stock revolution is over the meme stock frenzy is over the meme stock rally is officially over every single year they are saying this 
but again it hasn't been over and again if they're saying it's over the first time why do they have to say it every single year because they understand that you haven't sold and they need you to sell now go into this and again it's very important you can see here meme stock error is long gone as box office sacks this is february 27th 2024 and they said that about amc take a look at this cinema rises receives double upgrade as wells fargo declares movies are back april 5th 2024 so you can see february 27th they're saying that amc error is long gone because the art box office sags now we're saying movies are back so they understand that firstly there was a strike and that hence why movies was obviously affected and now they're saying movies are back but they are not going back on their statement of box office sags which is causing apparently the amc stock error to be long gone so you can see how they're using media for their benefits and again not the retail investors benefit and this is a very clear example anyway guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys next time